this is our lesson three in the Sapphire Kingdom Gemology YouTube channel. I am Anand Pirina. And uh, this, from this lesson, I need to explain you the difference between artificial and natural stones, main differences. This is very important thing to identify. I reveal the secrets like lesson one and lesson two. This lesson also I will reveal in this secret. Identification of artificial, that means synthetic, another name is man-made. Natural is, natural means getting from the earth without any treatment. So the differences we can see. Now look at this. All the stones here are, look at this. So all the stones here are synthetic. The main secret is there is a pleochroism. But when we turn synthetic gemstone 360 degrees between the eye and the light source, no color change, no changing. When we are rotating all the gems, color is same. No maximum color and minimum color. There are two or three differences, colors not given. So when we rotate these stones 360 degrees in between eye and the light source, same color is given. That is the one point. And look at these very bright color and the luster given by the stone is very high. It is different. Extraordinary, extraordinary brightness is there. Luster is there. So look at this. All are synthetic stones. Synthetic stones here. This is synthetic blue, synthetic yellow, synthetic ruby, ruby. See the brightness. And red color, ruby, purple, green, blue, look at the six sides. Look at the six sides. Hexagonal shape. Crystal shape also there. Here also crystal shape there. Here crystal shape there. All are man-made or lab created or synthetic or artificial. There are four words. Synthetic, lab created, man-made, artificial. Now, look at this. All the color range is here. Why this production comes to the market? Sapphires are very expensive. So, with sapphire jewelry, we can use sapphire jewelry only for the rich people. Poor people can't use this. They are using only the gold or silver or steel. Stainless steel. So, gemologists created synthetic stones or lab created stones to cover this and give the chance to give the similar chance to the poor people to do their jewelry. That is the reason. So, look at this these rough stones and the cut and polished are here. When we cut and polished, we can't see anything without lab report. So appearance is like the natural. We can't uh, separate with our eyes natural or synthetic. Seems to be same. So that is the reason they created this. But some people are doing bad manners, bad things. Now look at this. All are cut and polished artificial stones or synthetic stones. Look at this. See the luster, brightness. Too much of brightness. Here. Can't say. Stars. Star ruby. Purple star. All are. See the bottom. Top and the bottom. Then all are man-made 
overlap created stones here look at this star purple star capuchon cut lab created stars look at the bottom side this very special thing is here here no layers of natural root rail fibers no layers of natural root rail fibers that means can you remember in our lesson 2 there are three crystallized layers inclined 60 degrees are not visible here because this is synthetic they are creating this star in some manner we can learn later then we can recognize the star with the bottom side and the star is like this see the difference these are the faceted synthetic stones these are the capuchon stones no crystallized inclined 60 degrees layers are there three, three layers we can't visible there no layers there no rotile fiber layers then look at this synthetic the method means flame fusion is the method that uh, inside the lab they are created synthetic this synthetic ruby with red fluorescence under the uv light when we use the uv light ultraviolet light the fluorescence red fluorescence is like this that means it is more red than the natural ruby so it is one case these are the rough synthetic sapphires. These all are synthetics. These synthetic cut and polish are used to low grade jewelry. Low grade jewelry. Then another experiment here. Look at this difference in light source. When we use the light source to see the stone, the real stone glow like this, and the fake one is glowing like this. See the difference we can recognize it is synthetic now look at this this is the 850 carats world biggest gem quality sapphire rough stone 850 uh, carats this is the stone another side is here now look at these two both the same stone these are natural stones world biggest gem quality blue sapphire now look at the synthetic blue sapphire see the glowing difference last is very high in these natural stones pleochorescent is there but here when we rot rotate 360 degrees the same color given because it is synthetic look at the ruby here synthetic ruby glowing more than the natural glow so that is the main difference. We can recognize this with the experienced eye. Now you can understand, you can watch this properly and understand the difference. Here, this is golden star sapphire, rough. See the root eye needles. Blue sapphire rough here also. See the natural shapes of the skin, body skin. Look at the body and the skin. See the shapes here. Six sides. And here, triangle like cut. That is the uh, shape of the crystal. It is blue sapphire rough. Now look at this. This is sapphire crystal. Little bit crystal shape is there. Not glowing like that. Synthetics. After cutting, this is the stone we got. Both are natural. This is the rough stone. After cutting, we got this. Right. Now, another natural gemstone here. Orange sapphire, rough stone, and the cut and polished stone. In this stone, it is cut and polished, but there is a big mistake here. Look at this area. Looking through this area, you can see the, the other side of the back side of the stone. It is called cutting error called window or open. So we are 
this uh, I am describing this in future lessons. You can understand well. It is a mistake by the cutter. So see the other sides. All lusters are coming. Now it is Padmaraga. Now these are the low color, very light color, fancy sapphires like pastel. Pastel and fancy are both are same. Here natural. This is the natural ruby. See the difference you saw earlier, one kind of ruby here. Look at this. See the glowing. It is synthetic. Now look at this. See the difference. I show you a blue sapphire, big blue sapphire and ruby, the difference between natural and the synthetic. I show you. Now look at the fancy sapphires. These are fancy sapphires, but the color is more than a little bit more than fancy. That means pastel color. Little bit more pastel color. Then we can see it is fancy. There are so many color grading. We are learning next lessons. Now the attention here. Lab test must be done to distinguish between artificial and the natural stones. Remember this. For this, do the trade after obtaining a lab certificate from a gemologist. Gemstones are paid after lab certification. You can check, you, you can see the stone and discuss the uh, price and wait until the certification comes. Then you can pay and buy. For this, it can be obtained by presenting the stone to a private gemologist in your country. This is the thing I need to remind you. Join us and learn and enrich your future. We will meet in the next part. That means lesson four.